Uh, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to make a website quickly. Uh, the way we're going to do it is we're going to install WordPress on your own domain, and the good thing about installing WordPress is that you can make a professional looking website without the need for any coding knowledge at all. So the first thing you want to do is below the YouTube video that you're watching, there's going to be a link to HostGator. Click on that link, and then you're going to end up at the home page of HostGator, which, will, which uh, I'll meet you at the next screen for. Alright, so here we are at the HostGator homepage. Uh, first thing you want to do is click over here on View Web Hosting Plans. Now they're going to have three available web hosting plans that you'd be interested in. Um, you, sh you should either pick one of these two, the Hatchling Plan or the Baby Plan. The only difference between these two is the Hatchling Plan only allows one domain on their hosting package. So if you know for a fact that you're only going to make one website, go with the Hatchling Plan because that's the cheapest one. If you know that you, or if there's even a possibility that you may make more than one website, or you think that you probably will, then go with the baby plan. The business plan is if you start getting a lot of traffic to your websites, uh, I wouldn't worry about that because you can always upgrade later. So for now, just go ahead and click on baby plan. Alright, so at this screen, you're going to enter the domain name that you want to put your website on. Um, if you already bought a domain for some reason, you can just put it in here, but if not, you can just put it, you know, whatever domain you want to buy, you just put it in here. Uh, where it says enter coupon code, it's going to have a code in already, and it's going to claim that you've already chosen the most valuable coupon. But I know for a fact that this coupon is only worth a uh, 20% discount. If you were to go ahead and put Lions Club 100, your coupon will be for 25%. So go ahead and put in Lions Club 100, so you get 25% off your entire order. And then if you have a domain already, put it in here. If you're going to buy a domain right now, put it in here and find out it's, if it's available. All right, so we're just going to buy something. Let's put my sample website 2012, see if it's available. It is perfect. All right, so uh, the baby plan is the one we already selected. The billing cycle, um, as you can see, the more time you buy for, the cheaper it actually becomes. I would recommend buying at least 12 months, but you could get two years, you could get three years, you could get six months, you could get one month, just whatever you feel comfortable with. We're going to put 12 months for now. Um, come up with the username and security pin, fill that out, fill out your billing information over here. Um, domain privacy protection, if you don't want anyone to know that you own this domain, you can keep that checked. I personally wouldn't worry about it. Site lock, highly recommended secure website. Again, this is not something I would worry about, but you know, you can get it if you want. And then over here, it's going to have pretty much what you're buying. Um, it's $15 for the domain, $120 for uh, the year of hosting. And as you can see, with the coupon credit of Lions Club 100, you get the 25% off, so the price is reduced by $30. So go ahead and fill all this out, and I will meet you at the next screen. Alright, so once you're done registering for your account, um, within 10 minutes or so, uh, HostGator is going to send you an email, and in that email it's going to have the username that you signed up with, it's going to have a password that they're going to make up for you, and then it's going to have in the email a, uh, a URL address that they say is your cPanel login. So go ahead and click on that link and it's going to take you to a screen that looks just like this. Type in your username, for me it was Mikey Mick, uh, put in, paste in the password that they sent you and go ahead and log in and now we are at the back end of cPanel. Once you are at this screen, go ahead and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see this button right here, Fantastico Deluxe. Go ahead and press it. Then press WordPress here on the side and press New Installation. Once you do that, My Sample Website 2012, that's where we're going to install WordPress. This can be left uh, blank. Come up with uh, administrator username and password. So I'm just going to put Mikey Mike. I'm going to put password one two three. I'm going to admin nickname. You can put whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'll just put Mike. Put in your email address. Put in the site name. My sample website 2012. And then you can put a description if you want. You can leave it blank if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter because those options can be changed later. Go ahead and press install WordPress and finish installation. Alright, so once you've installed WordPress, go back to your browser, type in your the, the domain that you registered, go ahead and type it in, press enter, and this is the page that should show up. This is the 
default WordPress installation. It's the most basic one and from here is where you're gonna start to modify your website to make it look whatever you want, your website or your blog. Um, like with earlier, this may not happen immediately. You may want to, you may have to refresh this maybe 15 minutes after you install WordPress, maybe half an hour after you install WordPress. Um, it does take a little while to install, but once once you refresh it and this is what comes up, that means WordPress is installed. So at this point, what you can do is put in your your web address and put in backslash wp dash admin, and this is how you're going to log into the back end of your website. So what you're going to do is uh, put in the username and password that you set up earlier. So it was Mikey Mick. And then the password was password123. Oops. Um, I think it was Mikey Mike, password123. All right, there it is. So now we are on the back end of WordPress, and this is where you can add posts, this is where you add pages, where you can do everything to, to update your website. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the following two videos. Alright, so pretty much that's how you install the basic WordPress installation and that's how you go to the back end and start to modify it. Um, if you like the video, please share it with your friends and family through Facebook, Twitter, however you like, and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you for watching.